Hey friends, welcome to Post to Post. My name is Neil. Thanks for joining me today. Usually we look at NHL jerseys from NHL teams. This time we're still looking at NHL and what? <laughs> we're still looking at NHL teams, but we're looking at NHL teams on soccer jerseys. I think this might be a first on the channel. We've looked at thousands, I guess, literally thousands of concepts on the channel the last two-ish years. This may be a first. These concepts are by Awava, Awava. I apologize, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. You submitted these quite a while ago, actually. There are 32, one for every single NHL team. These are done by alphabetical order as far as abbreviation. Got them up on my screen here. The file names, I've not seen these. It's gonna be a reaction video. Let's jump into it. Anaheim's first. Bring it up on the screen now. Oh, that's not quite what I was expecting, actually. I didn't expect there to be any kind of, uh, I guess, sponsorships or ads on the jersey. It kind of threw me off there for uh, for a split second. But I guess with soccer, you know, there is that more in-your-face, kind of visually abrasive thing that you got to deal with, and that's ads. So it's not technically really that out of place. It's kind of, it kind of fits the soccer jersey a little bit. The Anaheim text along the bottom is a little distracting, but I kind of like everything else that's going on. It's got this kind of mid-70s uh, look to it in a way with the color up top here, the green, and then the the bottom of the sleeves here, it's a different color. Just like, I don't know, like mid-70s like cycling jersey or something. But you can see the duck foot off to the left there very subtly, and then the 15 on top. I mean, I don't really know what to expect overall, so I would say an interesting start for sure. Let's move on to the next one, which should be Arizona. Whoa, okay, <laughs> this is like Japan Rising Sun themed or something. Obviously it's not, it's based on the uh, Arizona state flag, but it is, I don't know, it just it looks very Japanese to me because of the whole Rising thun, Sun thing. I do like this a lot, actually, it looks quite good. I I don't know how would I, how I would improve it, so like, I, it's really neat. Like, it's really, really neat, actually. There's no ads on here, so, I mean, it's my favorite so far. I've only seen two, but this is great. I, Yeah, this is great. I like this. I like how different it is for sure. All right, moving on. We got the Boston Bruins. Look at the gradient down below with the bear slash coming through. This is actually quite nice as well. I, I don't watch a lot of soccer or football, whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. So I'm not really familiar with a lot of the traditional thematics when it comes to soccer jerseys. I can only go off of of the, the NHL team's branding and just basically what I think looks good, right? So uh, I think this looks good. I uh, have nothing really to complain about here. I like the uh, the little slash that's in there. I do think there's a lot more sublimation print in soccer, though. They can get away with a lot more. They can put scenes on the jerseys a lot easier. That's really a rarity in the NHL, where with soccer, football, again, whatever you want to call it, it, um, it happens very often. So that totally makes sense being in there in the bottom. Next is the Buffalo, okay, the, the key threw me off there. For a split second, I was an idiot. <laughs> I was like, why is that key on there? Key Bank Arena or Key Bank, key bank Center, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I forget actually the technical name, but I was like so thrown off by that key there for a second. But look at the way that the logo is colorized. It's not in the royal blue, it's in the black. And you keep the color of the yellow in the sabers. That actually looks really good. Like jersey aside, I kind of like the logo colorized like that. Now the buffalo along the bottom, that's a takeoff from one of their jerseys in their history, plus the reverse retro. So that's allowed. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing really to complain about here. This is this is an interesting one for sure. Looks a little bit like a belt down below, but yeah, it's interesting. Moving on. The Carolina Hurricanes. So we've got the warning pattern down there. We've got Canes, which they use in their away jersey. The actual uh, Hurricanes logo on the chest region this looks totally fine this definitely looks like a soccer jersey like when i look at this i definitely think soccer i think uh Owava or Oweva uh nailed this one okay next is columbus wow this one is cool this screams soccer to me i love the fact that it's split in two that in the nhl would be a massive no-no especially diagonal like this there's only i think two or three different situations in the nhl where i can remember a team doing this the colorado avalanche stadium series the San Jose Shark Stadium Series, and the LA Kings Stadium Series. I'm sure there's another one, but those are the only three I can think of at the top of my head. But this one does it diagonally, and it fits in with the brand because, the, you know, a blue jacket's an old soldier. They've probably got some kind of, I don't even know the right words, not sash, but maybe it is, I don't know. But they've got, you know, they've got that thing coming down. That fits. That totally fits. Moving on to the Calgary Flames. Okay, 
the number is on fire. You can see some smoke rippling off that, some smoke down below. You get the flames down there. This is a cool one. I do like this. A little bit Ronald McDonald up top with the red neck and the yellow uh, end sleeves. But uh, yeah, this one's nice. I don't know what my favorite is going to be so far. It's going to be really interesting to go back through all these and pick my favorite. Next, we got the Chicago Blackhawks. Okay, now we're going back to, I think, the late 20s up into the early 50s as far as kind of like design of the jersey using the logo that they used way, way back. I don't know the specific year of that one, but it's a version of the one that they used on the Winter Classic uh, white and black one. It looks very good. Like this is, it's almost, if, if this was a different color, if this was like blue and white or something, it would be very nautical themed, I feel like. But I get I get very retro vibes from this for sure. Uh, I, I do like this, yeah, I like this a lot. Colorado, look at this. This is very stadium series. This is one of the ones I was talking about earlier where it kind of splits up the jersey. Burgundy on top, you got the blue down below. The avalanche loses me a little bit. That text loses me down below. But I, I, I mean, the rest of it's perfect. This would actually make a really, really nice soccer jersey. Let's move on. The Dallas Stars, what is the, oh, it's a star. I couldn't really see the texture up in the shoulder area, but down below it's a lot easier to see. Uh, this is very clean, very, very clean. It looks just slightly like pajamas because of the texture in the background, but it's not too bad at all. I love the fact that the entire state outline of Texas is on there. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, not my favorite, but good. Okay. <laughs> Wow, this is very like referee inspired, but this is kind of what they do in soccer. So they, they kind of go crazy on the striping sometimes. So this isn't really that out of place. Detroit on there, although splits up the jersey right in the middle. It, again, I feel I get major soccer vibes from this. So this is totally applicable, I think, as far as the branding and thematic. It's very hard in the eyes, but it works. Okay, you've got the Oilers. Wow. What is this? It's like, I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe this. Weird, but like really cool at the same time. I like the number in the cog. That's a nice addition. But the logo, you know, that's a decision that I would never make with this logo, regardless if it was on a soccer jersey or a football jersey or an NHL jersey. But it looks really cool. Like, I like that a lot. Whether it's that, that could go in a t shirt and look really awesome. I love that decision by Awava here. Let's move on. We've got the Florida Panthers, Miami Vice vibes for sure. Not symmetrical because one side is teal of the sleeve and the other side is pink, but the neck is pink, so it's like it's weighted more pink heavy than blue heavy or teal heavy rather. Uh, that bothers me a little bit, my OCD, but. It's quite interesting. Very neon vibes for sure. Not my favorite, but uh, very cool color-wise. Next is the, wow, LA Kings. Are you kidding me? This is, this is awesome. Now, down below, you've got some protruding elements coming up from the crotchal region. If it was just one, we'd have a problem. We might have to call someone, but there's multiple. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think there's a man out there with six of those. Um, so the scene is set below. They're all a different height. It's very, it's obviously a scene. It's not, it doesn't look out of place. It looks, it looks okay there. Uh, sometimes we see in some concepts, some things coming up from the middle on, on some designers and it looks a little awkward. So it, it doesn't here. I love the colors. I love the logo up on the chest. This, that Arizona one was good. This might be in my top, uh, it's definitely my top three so far. The Minnesota wild. Wow. This one is awesome, like it's immediately awesome. So in the Minnesota Wild logo, there's this, a slight little stroke around the entire thing that's not white, it's that cream color that you see here. So the designer, uh, Awava, has extended that little bit of cream essentially to the rest of the top of the jersey here, blown up the logo massive and extended the color up. And it, man, does it look good. It looks so good. Like that whole scene and the logo itself being displayed that big down below, this is awesome. I really, really like this one a lot. Next is the Montreal Canadiens. This totally screams soccer. Uh, also, Montreal has the barber pole jersey from their history, which they brought back around 2008, 9-ish. So this, man, this is actually, not unbiasedly, I'm a Canadiens fan, but like unbiasedly, this is very nice. This is 100% soccer, football. Uh, yeah, this absolutely works for me. Nothing I'd change about this one. The new, well, there's no new one there. It's just a jersey. Technically, this is a jersey. I kind of like the one that they made. I don't love the texture that's in here, though. I don't even know what it is. It's hard to tell. It almost looks like a rubberized matte texture or something. 
This is probably one of my least favorites so far, just because of the bottom. It look, he looks like a waiter, where like the black things around it holds the change and stuff. So yeah, this one's I'll probably pass on this one. Next is the, okay, some ads. We're back on the ads here. Budweiser, the Nashville Predators. Not too bad at all. I I don't love that logo though, like that Budweiser logo. It looks like a bow tie. I, obviously, it's down below near near the belly button, but yeah, there's so many other ones without ads. That I kind of have to dislike this one because it has ads, but it makes sense, so difficult. Let's move on. Okay, we've got Fisherman Vibes, but not totally Fisherman. A water texture in the jersey, which is looks great, I think. The uh, Lighthouse logo, which looks good. And just some simple kind of wavy action from the Fisherman jersey. So it's it's a very subtle transition from the Fisherman jersey to this one. Uh, it, it's not my favorite, but I do like it. The Rangers. Oh, a pattern that we do see in soccer and soccer jerseys. But... Oh man, see that's an awkward place to put a head down there, even though it's faced in the other direction, so nothing's going on. But it's still just an awkward area to put a head, because that's Lady Liberty. You can't put Lady Liberty's head near a crotch. That's just awkward. So from that perspective, I'd probably say this one's a miss, but I do like the general design of the kind of checkerboard pattern. It's very vibrant. Next, we've got the auto, okay. <laughs> this is a good example. You've got one singular vertical long slender item protruding from the crotchal region. And I think that is a dangerous thing to do. It just it looks, makes it look very, very awkward. So from that perspective, total miss for me because of that. Just remove that and I would not change a thing about the rest of the jersey. I actually love the rest of the jersey. Very retro. This 100% looks like an, uh, a soccer jersey. Even the Ottawa Senators logo that was chosen here totally fits in to soccer branding. Just remove the thing on the bottom. This one's great. Next, the Philadelphia Flyers. So a little bit of a no-no when you inverse or mirror a logo and put it you know, backwards like that. Typically, fans of teams don't like to see their logo kind of mirrored like that. So I'll leave it up to the Philadelphia Flyers fans to comment down below and if that's okay or not. Um, it's an awkward place to put two circular items right by the nips. So like when I look at this, I just think of two nips. But it also kind of looks like suspenders as well. Uh, so not bad, yeah. I, Flyers fans, what do you think of this one? Let me know. Very clean Pittsburgh Penguins here. This one is this one's nice. Beautiful colors. Um, a little surprised to see a circular pattern in the background of the texture, and not maybe that kind of like pinnacle design that they kind of use in in uh, Pittsburgh sports. It's the Steelers, yada yada yada. Might change up the background texture, but that's really fairly insignificant here. I, I like the colorization. I like the simplicity of the lines. The Robo Penguin recolorized to be their original colors. Looks good. The, wow, the Seattle Kraken, this looks good. So you got the arena on top of the anchor, which looks great. The actual Seattle Kraken logo very subtly and very transparent, maybe like 5%, 10% transparency in there on the bottom, even Kraken. You got the gradient, the depths from below and the black and the deep blue coming up into the lighter green and the teal. This looks good. Uh, I, do, I do like this one for sure. San Jose, wow, look at this one. A very kind of like, I don't know the right, not art deco, but like, I don't know how to describe what's going on down below as far as from an artistic lens, but obviously it's waves and it's it's a little cartoony, but it, it does look good. I think it would look good if it was on there and if it was off. So it's really an insignificant thing, but it, it is interesting for sure. The logo on up here, it looks awesome. The colorization up, up above looks great as well. I, I do like this one. Next is the... Wow, the St. Louis Blues, again, kind of got that awkward shape there. It's so distracting. I think if you just left it off, it would be a much better jersey here. You've got the staff, which holds the note, and then the logo, which looks good. Yeah, I would just remove the thing on the bottom. Next is the Tampa Bay Lightning, and this looks good. I love I love the fact that the there's that lightning bolt in there. That this, I think the scene is created. There's a gradient from the, the dark sky above being black, and then maybe some like city lights, kind of glowing blue. You've got some water near Tampa Bay. So maybe there's some kind of like a hazy blue happening over the city. And then boom, a crack of lightning. Uh, I, I do like that. Yeah, this one looks good. Very simple, very uh, very modern too. Next is the Toronto Maple Leafs. And we've got some uh, arenas kind of style action here with the lines on the arms. Uh, kind of suspenders. Looks like, again, look, kind of looks like suspenders. But this is very like retro, original soccer themed uh, this one would definitely work next is the vancouver canucks wow look at the gradient in this one so the gradient is a call out to their 
um, well, the, the, the reverse retro, which is colored like this, but that's a call to their history as well. So the decision to put a gradient in here is perfect. And the colorization is perfect. The V, that's a part of their history as well, a really interesting aspect. So there's like a lot of generations of branding here from the Canucks in this jersey. And although there is some clashing between some of that stuff, it does work. I do like this one. Uh, the logo fights a little bit for attention with the word Canucks that's coming in that kind of horizontal section. But uh, this is nice. Let's move on to the Vegas Golden Knights. Oh my goodness. What is this? I don't know about this one. The pink is just so jarring and the green. It just it feels so out of place. Like I get it. I get the... I, I know. I understand why it's there. It's just... Do you, I guess it's kind of cool to see the suits on there, but I think it's just the colors. I really think it's the colors that's kind of throwing me off. So I'm going to skip this one. Or I'm going to move on, rather. The Winnipeg Jets. That's cool. I do like that. You get some, some contrails and some colorization at air shows and stuff. They use the colorized smoke, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, nothing really negative to say about this one. looks good. The Capitals. Ooh. So we've got a kind of, I guess, Screaming Eagle-themed reverse retro jersey here without the Screaming Eagle. But another really good logo put on the chest. Capitals looks good on there. Yeah, this looks good. And that's the last one. What was my favorite? I got to give me a couple minutes. I got to go back and look. You know, going back through these, there's actually so many that are done very well. Uh, this is really difficult to choose a favorite. Um, a really big part of me wants to go with Minnesota because I love how it looks. Another big part of me wants to go with the LA Kings because I love the colorization, the scene along the bottom, the fact that it's a, a full city skyline. We've got all kinds of buildings there. But I think I'm actually going to go back to the second one we looked at, which was the Arizona Coyotes, just because it's so completely different than really everything else in the set. There was the checker pattern one, which is very bold and in your face. There's lots of striping on the Chicago one. But this one is a representative of the state of Arizona, the state flag, the Kachina, so the branding there, the colors, obviously. And I think it just looks good. Like the, it, it all just kind of looks good. So I think this is my favorite, although there, there's a ton of awesome ones in this whole set. So uh, Awaba, thank you so much for submitting those. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys want to come up with designs like this, you can go down to the description. There's details on how to do that. It doesn't have to be hockey. Like we just looked at soccer jerseys. Could be, we could look at basketball jerseys next or, or baseball jerseys. Uh, you know, be creative. There's lots of templates out there for all kinds of different things, whether it's a football or a sweater or a hockey arena. Doesn't really matter. I'd love to see your work. I love looking at the community's work. So if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and let me know down below in the comment section what was your favorite NHL themed soccer jersey that you looked at today in this video. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.